Belgravia is one of the most affluent districts of London and is located in both the city of Westminster and the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. It acts as a largely diplomatic quarter filled with embassies, consulates, high commissions and other international cultural institutions, but in the past it wasn't always the nicest place to be in. History During the Middle Ages it was known as Five Fields and was said to be a dangerous area for highway robberies. The Westbourne Crossing was called Bloody Bridge and so called because it was frequented by robbers and highwaymen and it was unsafe to cross the fields at night. In 1728, a man's body was discovered by the bridge with half his face and five fingers missing. The distance for this spot away from London at this time also made it a popular spot for duelling. Despite its reputation for crime and violence, Fifefield was a pleasant area during the daytime and various market gardens were established. The area began to be built up after George III moved into Buckingham House and constructed a row of houses on what we now know today as Grosvenor Place. In the 1820s, Richard Grosvenor, 2nd Marquess of Westminster, commissioned an estate to be designed. Wilton Crescent was drawn up with the original 1821 plan for Belgravia. In the 19th and 20th centuries, it was home to many prominent British politicians, ambassadors and civil servants. Louis Mountbatten, 1st Earl Mountbatten of Burma, lived at number 2 for many years, and Alfonso López Pumajero, twice President of Colombia, lived and died at number 33. The play Major Barbara is partly set at Lady Britomart's house, also in Wilton Crescent. In 2007, Wilton Garden, in the middle of the Crescent, was awarded a bronze medal by the London Garden Society. Belgravia as we see it today was developed in the early 19th century by Richard Grosvenor, 2nd Marquess of Westminster, under the direction of Thomas Cubitt. It is accessed via Wilton Place, constructed in 1825 to connect it to Knightsbridge. It is adjacent to Grosvenor Crescent to the east, which contains the Indonesian Embassy, and further to the east lies Buckingham Palace. The area as a whole takes its name from one of the Duke of Westminster's subsidiary titles, Viscount Belgrave, which in turn is derived from Belgrave in Cheshire, a village on land belonging to the Duke. Belgrave Square, one of the grandest and largest 19th century squares in the UK, is the centrepiece of Belgravia. The square contains statues of Christopher Columbus, Simon Bolivar, José de San Martín, Prince Henry the Navigator, the first Marquess of Westminster, a bust of George Pasevi, and a sculpture entitled Homage to Leonardo by Italian sculptor Enzo Plazotta. Belgravia was and is characterized by its grand terraces of white stucco houses. It was one of London's most fashionable residential districts from its beginnings. After World War II, some of the largest houses ceased to be used as residences or townhouses for the gentry and aristocracy. Lowndes Square is named after the Secretary to the Treasury, William Lowndes. Like much of Belgravia, it has grand terraces with white stucco houses. It's next to Wilton Crescent and Belgrave Square. It also runs parallel with Sloane Street to the east, east of Harvey Nichols and Knightsbridge Underground Station. Lowndes Square has some of the most expensive properties in the world. Russian businessman Roman Abramovich bought two stucco houses in Lowndes Square in 2008. The merged houses with a total of eight bedrooms are expected to be worth around 150 million pounds, which is over 200 million dollars and just under 175 million euros. That's also 37 million Djiboutian francs, 151 million Chilean pesos, 8.7 million Iranian rials, and almost 186 billion North Korean won. Chester Square is a smaller residential garden square, the last of the three garden squares built by the Grosvenor family. It is named after the city of Chester, near Eton Hall. Members of the family also represented Chester as members of Parliament. Past residents of Chester Square include Matthew Arnold at number 2, Mary Shelley at number 24, John Diddle at number 72, Margaret Thatcher at number 73, and Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands at number 77. Eaton Square is one of three garden squares built by the Grosvenor family and is named after Eaton Hall in Cheshire, the family's principal seat. The first block was laid out in 1826, but the square was not completed until 1855. Interestingly, the long construction period is reflected in the variety of architecture along the square. The houses in Eaton Square are huge, predominantly three bays wide, joined by regular terraces in a classical style, with four or five main stories, plus an attic, a basement, and a muse house behind. Although not as fashionable as some other squares in London, Eaton Square was home to several key figures. George Fitzclarence, 1st Earl of Munster, the illegitimate son of William IV, lived at number 13. Stanley Baldwin and Neville Chamberlain lived at number 93 and number 37. Since World War II, Eaton Square has become less residential. The Bolivian Embassy is at number 106, while the Belgian Embassy is at number 103. 
At the east end of the square is St. Peter's Church. It was completed in 1827 during the first development of Eaton Square. Eaton Place is an extension to the square. The scientist William Thompson, first Baron Kelvin, lived here, as did the Irish Unionist Edward Carson. Sir Henry Wilson, first baronet, was assassinated by Irish Republicans in 1922 as he was leaving number 36. Today. Today, much of Belgravia, known as the Grosvenor Estate, is still owned by the family property company, the Duke of Westminster's Grosvenor Group, though unfortunately for them, they were forced to sell many land ownerships to former tenants owing to the 1967 Leasehold Reform Act. Belgravia is now packed full of diplomatic buildings and institutions. Here's a random list of some. The Romanian Cultural Institute, the Embassy of Syria, the official residence of the Ambassador of Kuwait, the High Commission of Ghana, the Society of Chemical Industry, the Hispanic and Luso-Brazilian Council, the Country Land and Business Association, the Bruneian High Commission, the Saudi Cultural Bureau, the British German Association, the Royal College of Defense Studies, the Caledonian Club, the Italian Cultural Institute, the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission, and the Institute of Practitioners in Advertising. Aside from the diplomatic bullcrap, Belgravia is also popular in British television and has appeared in several TV series. Is, is. What's around? Belgravia is super central. It is immediately surrounded by Hyde Park, Knightsbridge, Chelsea, Pimlico, Victoria, Westminster and Buckingham Palace. In Belgravia, you'll find Cadogan Hall, Harvey Nichols, Royal Court Theatre and the Memorial to Princess Diana. The nearest underground stations are Hyde Park Corner, Knightsbridge and Sloan Square. It is also serviced by Victoria Station, a major national rail, tube and coach interchange. If you want to visit Belgravia, everything is open to the public, except for the gardens, of course. <laughs>